Yo, good morning, guys. 2K just ended up confirming NBA 2K22 seasons for every single game mode. We got my team, we got my career, we got rewards and all that good stuff. And if you're ready and you're excited and you want to see NBA 2K22 videos already, then leave a like right now. If you leave a like, you'll get a cookie, so don't risk it. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below right now your thoughts about, you know, 2K22 and everything like that. And without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So at the moment, 2K ended up releasing a nice little courtside report, which is right here on the screen. And uh, we got a lot of information about uh, my team season and everything so 2k says uh you know they transformed through the years and uh we're thrilled to share the strides being made for 2k22 blah 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 and then seasons will be a primary focus in 2k22 and all rewards will be available to redeem at no additional cost once players reach each new you know season level and everything like that and we can see right here that the first season is going to be called call to ball Hmm, okay call to ball interesting so i think they oh they, they just come out and oh wait are they Oh, so here we go. So season two is going to be in October, and then uh, December will be season three, and then January. Oh, wait. How many seasons are we getting? Okay, so nine seasons again. Okay, so this is going to be like every six weeks or so. And ah, so we already know the uh, the schedule. Okay, so obviously season one is going to be September, and then October, and then December. I wonder if my team's going to have it like a little differently, or is it just going to be the same thing, you know, across the boards? So I'm assuming it's going to be the same across all of them since uh you know it does say my team and my career and uh you know we'll just keep reading though obviously but that look that's looking like the schedule right there uh new season rewards new xp challenges and agendas and new music and apparel so i'm assuming you know i think it's gonna be you know spread across 2k22 so that's pretty cool so my career will be getting you know my career my party guys will be getting seasons as well and then obviously my team we already know how it looks like in my team and everything like that so the rest of 2k you know everybody else is getting it as well and 2K has transformed through the years, and we're thrilled to share rewards. Uh, we introduce seasons, on your way to level up and earn rewards within my team, and we're expanding it to even further. Okay, yeah, so seasons will play an important role throughout 2K22, whether it's my career, my team, or the W online. You'll be able to access online content and earn rewards simply for playing with no additional cost. Okay, I think they gotta just start making 2K, uh, you know, just free. Everybody should be able to play for free. And then I explore all there is to do in the city, PlayStation 5, the neighborhood, you know, okay, so the city is going to be back for next gen, and then current gen will be neighborhood. You still have the same experience. You'll still get the same updates on current and next gen. So don't worry if you don't got a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, etc. And then leveling up will earn you more rewards, which are refreshed every six weeks at the start of a new season. All year long, season will offer fresh new content for you to enjoy. So it's looking like they're going to stick to a six-week, uh, you know, seasons. Okay. I mean, I'm down for that as long as it's consistent. And uh, it's looking like that's their goal this year is every six weeks we'll get a new season. Uh, totaling nine seasons. And then, then it says uh, it's focused on giving you more ways to progress, more ways to compete, uh, blah, 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 blah. And yes, okay, so 22K, uh, 2K22 launches, what, September 10? So we still got a little bit to go, but we're almost there. And then my career, ooh, oh, they're showing us rewards. Oh, my goodness, okay. Wait, is that my career or is that my team? That's my career. Okay, 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 let's see, let's see. Last year's seasons were exclusive to my team, but not anymore in 2K22. Seasons are coming to my career within the city and then the neighborhood. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's going to be a nice little aspect, too, for uh, you city and park players in my career. I'll probably, you know, I always play in the beginning. I play park in my career and stuff, but not too much. It's always my team for me. But uh, if they got this for my career and park, too, I might have to, uh, I wonder if it'll overlap. Hmm, I doubt it. It'd be pretty cool if you could, you know, earn it experience in park and then it goes to my team even though i doubt it i don't think it'll work like that and then it says uh you'll learn highly uh you know rewards uh such as apparel new banners blah 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 grand prize okay and so we got ourselves double xp for one hour at level 28 for you my career people you know what that means for my team people it just means like they just pretend like you're getting double xp <laughs> which is literally what it says but you end up getting double xp obviously and then you get a, a backpack right here okay and then you end up getting a nice you get some skates at level 30 okay and then you get a mid-range a uh, nice little gear and stuff like that i do feel like 2k is gonna start going towards that route of just giving us you know you know stuff like that you know arm sleeves and etc headbands and hopefully they do that in my team as well and then starting your engine season one set is to take uh, players for a ride, unleashing go karts in the city. Really? Okay. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, and then as the new wait, and then as the new grand prize, also the grand prize is gonna be a go kart. Oh. Okay, that's actually okay. That's actually that's interesting. All right. We're thrilled to introduce go karts as a fun way to cruise and adventure through uh, and explore regions. Uh, once you reach level 40 in addition uh skates can be used in a mode that's pretty cool i do like that a go-kart already in 2k22 at level 40 
for part that's gonna be fire seeing everybody you know right around you know in those and then what else do we got um it can be used as a mode of transport yes the skates that's gonna be at level 30 as we saw right there both rewards are available to you once you've met the level requirements each season a new grand prize will be refreshed and become redeemable it's just a matter of whether you reach the final line ah okay so seasons are gonna be pretty cool for every game mode as well nice i want to see I, I, can already, I can already tell there's going to be some mighty stuff down there. Oh, my goodness. I know we plenty to explore and see within the neighborhood, but we want to broaden your horizons. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, let me see. Set sail in the Caribbean in Season 1 where you show get your... Okay, so you, you do end up getting the cruise as well. And it looks like we're going to the Caribbean right there for Season 1. And then uh, we get some island courts. Okay, not too shabby. I'm liking the way that sounds. Okay. Oh, I see some more rewards down there. I've also been busy in the lab um, reimagining what it means to be a legend, and we think you're gonna like it. Okay, the crown jewel for players today will be reaching level uh, legend status, but Hall of Fame careers aren't built overnight. Think about it, the GOATs didn't earn that title because of one season. True, true, true. Okay, okay, interesting. So I wonder how they're gonna go about the legends. So to become, oh, it says right here, you'll need to reach level 40 in four different seasons. Ah, now that doesn't mean you have to do it, because, okay, but to become an awesome, you must put in the, oh, okay, oh, so you get Legend for just getting level 40, uh, four times in four different seasons, okay, so that's gonna be the new way to get, le so you can definitely be a Legend, you know, in the first four seasons, nice, and then we got some nice little, you know, 2K beats, okay, cool, 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 uh, first Fridays in which new songs will be added to the soundtrack, okay, I mean, I mute the music, because, you know, on YouTube, you get copyrighted, so, it do be like that. And then, uh, you know, we got some Young Thug, some Travis Scott. Okay, okay, interesting. And then, uh, oh, I see Mighty right there. Uh, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm excited. I am know you guys can't see it, but oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna go down, I'm just gonna go down. Yo! Is that who I think it is? Is that Heso Mellow Jello, favorite color, yellow? Yo, Mellow is gonna be the first level 40 reward. It's funny because I literally just made my prediction video yesterday. Go check out that video too because it was funny. And now it's gonna be Mellow, huh? Wow. And it looks it looks like they're gonna keep the level 40s, which ah, it's looking like it's about it's gonna is that the same rewards? I'm trying to like see because level 40, level 39 is a Hall of Fame badge, so they are bringing back Hall of Fame badges. And obviously 25 tokens. I want to check uh, 2K right now, obviously because I already forgot what the uh, Rewards are so let me I just want to check. I just want to check them with you. That's that's crazy though mellow Hey, so mellow jello. Let's see. Uh, is it 28? Uh, 25 tokens. Oh, so it's looking like they're gonna uh, They might end up. I, I was kind of hoping they would expand it I wanted to see a little bit more rewards and stuff like that, but I do like that mellow is the first reward though Hey <laughs> Dude, that's gonna be fire though, man. Okay, so mellow um, It's a little smaller, but he is a small forward power forward I know the picture is a little small right here on the screen, but you do end up getting to level uh, 40, 150k experience, and then it's looking like it's gonna be the exact same thing as it was last year in terms of like experience, rewards, and stuff like that. You still got the level one on the top right, uh, etc. And so it is gonna be mellow as the first reward. What do you guys think down below in the comments? Tell me, is it a W, is it an L? Uh, the card art is definitely interesting. It's gonna be very interesting to see how they go about it. You know throughout the year that is a reward card though 96 so the so the the overall is gonna be like in the middle interesting hmm I wonder if that's just for like the season rewards or because I know the sapphires they had it on the side so it's gonna be very interesting to see how they go about that but that's pretty cool though let's see what else they say though what else are they saying for my team um let me see my team wait why does it show my career again uh, let me see, let me see. 2K21 seasons uh, open the door to a new and fresh way to experience my team. Experience the new evolution in my team seasons. Get ready to earn XP with new and familiar agendas while also earning new rewards from season and lifetime agenda groups. Unlock the next level in your journey to level 40 in every mode. Domination, triple threat, limited, unlimited, draft, and more. Okay, so they are bringing back uh, unlimited. Interesting. I wonder if they'll do it the same way. Hopefully they make it so much better. The way they did it in 2K21 was booty, and it better be way better in 2K22. And then uh, we obviously get the draft and more. We're going to be getting a new game mode, I believe, uh, December is what they said. So that's going to be interesting. Every season, my team brings new challenges and events with an all-new fast-paced mode coming this holiday. Yeah, you see? Oh, fast-paced. Huh. So it's going to be a quick game mode. Interesting. To start building your dream team the best way possible, coming to the top season to earn Diamond, Carmelo, King of New York, Anthony. Wow! Ah, here's the uh, okay. So they show the uh, the go kart right here. For a second, I was like, "What is this? Why are they showing it here?" But 
I think they managed to show it up here. So my team, level 40. What do you guys think? That's crazy. Mello. Hey, I'm down for a Mello, bro. P9 and Mello going to be fire, man. That's going to be a W card, dude. So that means that if he's the small forward power forward, we'll probably be getting some point guards and some centers in like limited, unlimited, and stuff like that. So that'll be interesting. Same with the draft. Okay, then we got the W online with some more rewards. Hey, okay, so it's going to be interesting. So they are going to be, yeah, so seasons are going to be, they're going to be everywhere. Okay. Uh, the W on next gen consoles on your game mode features WNBA my player experience. Okay, so for the people that want to experience the WNBA, you know, hey, by all means, have some fun. Enjoy it. Those are the rewards right there. You can see you end up getting like what? Like a present. You get some nice little, is that nail polish? Am I tripping? Okay, uh, I mean, it is the <laughs> that is the WNBA. So, you know, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we'll dive into that as well. We'll see how it goes. And maybe my girlfriend can, uh, you know, check it out for me and then we'll go from there. But yeah, the, the W, I mean, yeah, cool. That should be, uh, yeah, it is no polish. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, clo okay, bundles of clothes. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, closing statements. Uh, season 1 of Ticket 22 will be filled with new ways to explore the city and the neighborhood. Popular tracks and hints, fresh apparel drops more throughout the year. We can't wait for you to level up using XP and earn rewards on your way to becoming a legend. You can experience it all starting September 10. Hey, and then also the W mode is, by the way, uh, exclusive to uh, next gen, it looks like. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yo, level 40. Ah, I will say, like, I'm excited that it's mellow. And, but at the same time, though, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. But at the same time, though, I was really hoping they would have done, like, a level 40. I mean, uh, level 80. Maybe 60. May maybe 7. Maybe 50. 50. Maybe, you know, I, I, was, I was really hoping they could have expanded it. Because I wanted to see the rewards get better and stuff like that. But I did like the season concept, you know, for 2K21. So the fact they're bringing it back is a fat W. Kind of expected. I mean, we all knew they were going to bring it back. It's, it's a really good, uh, you know, way to keep the content fresh every six weeks. It's looking like. And we have the schedule. You guys saw the schedule earlier. Uh, it's looking like. The seasons are gonna be every six weeks and it's gonna be for my career you know the w etc and stuff like that you know you can do uh events for uh you know my career and stuff like that so it's pretty cool and then uh yeah here here was the breakdown so season one september then october then december then january so i'm assuming december will be the season of giving again and then january february april may july and then august interesting so we'll get a season nine in august huh I wonder, I wonder what that means for 2K23. Ooh. And we'll see what happens. But that right there, though, guys, is going to be the video. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about it. Carmelo Anthony is the first reward. Let me know down below. And we're going to call it right there. If you enjoyed it and you're ready for 2K22, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, check out the three that I uploaded. Check out my season one prediction video. It was crazy. Check out the squad builder I did. And then also check out this other amazing video. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.